Let's bring in Sean Carney now. He is the head of Muni Strategy over at BlackRock, and that means Paul is very excited. Darn right. Sean, uh, talk to me about how much does it matter if we get this Build Back Better bill passed? To Muni's, is it less important um, than than the infrastructure bill was? Uh, it matters, um, but, but I would say it's not as important. Um, you know, some of the... the keys that the muni market has, has looked at is you know, investors are anticipating higher taxes uh, as a result of the Build Back Better uh, plan. If we just look at a, a simple calculation of a market implied tax benefit, it shows you know the market pricing for a 52% top marginal tax rate, which, as you know, is significantly higher than this administration uh, has been has been talking. But I think that the bigger impact comes from the supply side of the equation where things like advanced refunding bonds and Build America bonds were omitted from the from the final draft, which ultimately would have been a catalyst for, for greater supply in the market. So it does matter, uh, and, and markets are paying attention. So, Sean, in the muni market, um, again, I'm a big fan of the muni market. The muni bond returns have been very strong compared with other fixed income markets this year. What's behind that, and, and, and what's the outlook for 2022? That's a good question. So it, they have been, and, and a lot of people concentrate on the gross returns. I think it's also important to, to look at excess returns. So year to date, the investment grade muni market is up about one and a half percent, but in excess returns, i.e., when we duration match munis to treasuries, munis are up 380 basis points in excess returns. When you compare that to a U.S. Ag or corporate IG, that's down about one and a half percent. I think there's several factors that have been driving you know, this year's positive performance. And while I want to say it can continue into 22, there's a couple of things I think we need to pay attention to. Like I mentioned, higher taxes on the individual side would help. On the corporate side, it's still unclear the role that banks and insurance companies will play and from the demand side. This year's outperformance has relative value measures, i.e. muni treasury ratios screening a bit rich. So sub 50% in the first five years of the curve and probably 10 ratios rich out longer on the curve. So as long as supply demand dynamics remain skewed positive, munis will hold in well. However, if that ratio goes a little sideways, we could see munis come under a bit of pressure. I think about the net positive months of March and April and September and October, which have a little bit less uh, you know, technical strength than others. And then I'd say the other thing to pay attention to is muni fundamentals support continued strong performance, as does the notion interest rates will rise in 2022, as munis tend to outperform in a rising rate environment, given their structure. Where are there places um, that are most advantageous to buy munis still if you're looking for a tax avoidance? There are, you know, our the way that we've kind of been positioning portfolios and, you know, positioning going into 22 is I'd, I'd say we're going into the year slightly long duration stance, but importantly, maintaining a barbell yield curve strategy. So we prefer lower rated investment grade bonds, for instance, particularly in the front end of the yield curve, as well as select high yield credits. And we maintain a favorable view on tax backed transportation, healthcare, and the education sectors. And the economic recovery is positioned to continue with strong growth in the tighter labor market in the coming year. You know, hence our, our preference for, for those you know, parts of the market on the yield curve and across the credit spectrum. Sean, give us a sense just kind of how fund flows have been into the muni space here. I'm guessing with some talk about higher taxation out there, people are more interested in munis. Flows have been phenomenal. Year to date, we've seen about $83 billion come into the market. We have three prints left, but we're probably going to come in just shy of the record year of 2019 that printed about $94 billion. Um, it's been sensational. There's many different ways that we can look at it. You know, we can use MUB, the largest muni ETF uh, ticker, as, as a way of looking at um, whether it trades at a discount or a premium to its NAV. That's ultimately kind of what fast money will tell you about right. future flows. And it's been very positive. It remains very positive. We've been seeing, you know, good inflows from from all different types of accounts. So, you know, one would believe that as performance continues, you know, we'll we'll see fund flows continue as well as we flip the calendar into into twenty twenty two. All right, Sean. Thanks so much for your time. We really appreciate you sharing your thoughts here on the municipal bond market. Sean Carney, 
head of municipal strategy at BlackRock.